Today we're gonna to be talking about how to grow and monitor a personal brand and in particular how to use Google Alerts to do that. Let's go. There are lots of tools out there like Google Alerts. I just happen to like Google Alerts. Tools like Google Alerts help you understand the public perception of your brand because it alerts you when people are talking about your brand. Now we're talking about personal brands here. So that's you, that's your name. And by using something like Google Alerts, you can receive alerts when your name is mentioned mentioned somewhere. As long as Google can find it, Google is going to send you an alert that your name was mentioned. So that's what we're looking at here is monitoring when you're mentioned online so that you can keep a close eye on what people are saying about you. Very important to do as you're looking to expand your personal brand. Hey, it's Chris. For the last 23 years, I have had thousands of paying clients who I've helped wildly grow their businesses. These are people who can change lives with what they do and they want to profit doing something they love. So I help them do that, but not in a way like you might think. And if you like training like this and you want to get it before anyone else, well, subscribing to this channel and turning on the alerts will have you jump the line every time I release a new class. You know, you don't need tools to figure out where your brand stands in the perception of the public, especially if you've had a lot of clients. One of the things that you can do is conduct a survey with your current and past clients and ask them the hard questions. These are questions like, what am I doing right? What could I improve? What do you wish I was doing? Is there a service that I could offer that would help you that you can't find anywhere else? Where have I screwed up? And what would you improve about my business overall or about me overall? You've got to ask those hard questions and you've got to be prepared for the honest answers. In fact, I remember when I did a survey a few years ago, I had a, a client and dear friend messaged me and said, I'm afraid to answer this because I'm afraid you might not talk to me. Now, what she told me wasn't all that bad, but it was very revealing to me and it allowed me to rapidly change something so that I could have a bigger impact on the people that I serve. So I'm very grateful for that and you will be too. Ask the hard questions of your current and past clients. It's gonna help you in a way that I can't even describe to you. Another cool thing to do is just go ahead and Google your name and see what happens. When you Google my name, Chris Prouty, uh, the, uh, the whole first page is just all stuff about me. My LinkedIn profile is generally first and then a lot of these YouTube videos show up there on the first page. It's all pretty cool to see. I haven't found anything particularly scary yet when I do that. You should do the same for you and for your personal brand. See what's showing up on that first page or that first scroll of Google. And then that can also help you work towards getting more things showing up there. LinkedIn is a really easy one to get to show up high in search rankings because LinkedIn has a lot of authority. So optimizing your LinkedIn profile is going to get that to show up. And as a kind of side tip here, because LinkedIn allows you to ask for testimonials, you could ask a bunch of your clients to give you testimonials on the platform. So now we're creating this system where if people Google your name and your LinkedIn profile shows up first, like it does for me, and then you've got great testimonials, well, think about what that's going to do as a whole for your personal brand. Wow, we started to talk, talk about systems within systems there, but they really do all work together. Go to Google Alerts, and that's alerts.google.com, and set an alert for your name or for your personal brand so that when it's mentioned online somewhere and Google finds it, you get an alert so that you can be very proactive and go and thank the person for saying something nice about you or fix the problem if someone's complained. And that's also the tip that I'm just going to give you, which is, to go and do that right now. Get that done today. And if you're looking for a guide on how to set up Google Alerts, well, I got you covered. I created one for you. All you have to do is go to brand.proudyclass.com. You can see that link on this screen, but I'm also going to put a clickable link in the very first pinned comment. So you can just click and go and download this resource that's going to give you a step-by-step -step guide to setting up Google Alerts. It's really simple, but I want you to do it without guessing. So go ahead and grab that guide. And while everything that I just taught you is so important, YouTube thinks you're gonna like this video, so you should check that out. But before you do, click on my face so you can jump the line and get the next class the moment I release it.